Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about MIDI controllers and I built this here beautiful MIDI crab. This is my own custom foot switch powered by an Arduino. And I'm going to do another video showing you all the details on the build for this as well as a third video in this series about how I use it in Reaper. And I have a very elaborate and awesome process for doing that that you won't find anywhere else because I made it myself and it's quite complex and uh, I'm going to give it all away to you so you can use it, but it will be exclusive. So in this video, I just want to talk about what is MIDI and what you can use it for as a guitarist. MIDI is the Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it is a protocol developed in 1983 to standardize communication between digital instruments. It's used all over the place for keyboards, synthesizers, electronic drums, and uh, MIDI foot switches for guitars. MIDI is essentially the language of all digital instruments, and without it, the digital audio world we know today would not be possible. I think it's underutilized by a lot of guitarists. Maybe it's intimidating or maybe it seems unnecessary, but I want to tell you that it is neither of those things, and it is really something you should consider using and adding to your rig. I'm not here to sell you a MIDI foot switch. In fact, I'm here to tell you you can make your own and I encourage you to do so. It's not that expensive and it's completely customizable. I want you to think about what would you like better control over in your guitar rig? Because that's mostly what MIDI is going to be doing for us. Maybe you want to use expression pedals to control effects parameters. All those knobs in your amp software can all be controlled with a MIDI controller like an expression pedal. We can also use MIDI buttons to turn on and off individual effects or change amp channels, or as I will show you later, change entire effects racks on the fly. You can also use MIDI buttons to control pretty much any action you want inside your DAW. So what did I want for this project? I wanted to be able to switch multiple effects and amps at the same time. I wanted essentially multiple effects racks with completely different sounds to be able to switch through immediately with just the push of a button. As I said in my third video, I will be going over exactly how I did that, but it is possible and I did do it. A simpler version of that would be something like turning on single effects or changing amp channels from clean to dirty or whatever. I also just wanted to have a programmable controller that I could use for any project and this is the way I'm using it right now. But as I said, I could bind these buttons to any sort of actions inside of Reaper and who knows what I may find a use for in the future with it. Lastly, I also wanted a way to hook up an expression pedal and send the data over to my PC. I don't have any other pedals that would allow me to send MIDI data. I can't even do that with this keyboard here. So um, I wanted some way to use just any off the shelf expression pedal in my DAW. So is it super difficult or expensive to build your own MIDI controller? No. And you can use a lot of different kinds of components, some of them dirt cheap, uh, nicer components are gonna be a little more expensive. But I think this pedal with uh, six buttons, and these are nice metal switches like you would see on any guitar pedal if it focuses, thank you. In total, it probably cost me somewhere around $60, maybe $70. There are certainly some components that you just buy in bulk and you'll have a ton of them like LEDs, and wires and so no building midi controller can be extremely cheap and when you look at what's available on the market i think pretty much the cheapest midi pedal out there is 150 dollars right now and some of them go to four five six hundred dollars no doubt those pedals are really good and well built and have a lot of options but you don't necessarily need something that big or expensive or full featured. In my case, all I have is six buttons and two analog expression pedal inputs, but that's all I need. I could certainly add more to it. The Arduino is capable of a lot more than I'm using it for, but I wanted to keep it somewhat simple. It's full featured enough for what I need, and it's a heck of a lot better than changing stuff with a keyboard or mouse. So it works perfectly for what I need, but you could expand it or you could simplify it. You can make a two or three button controller. If you look at DIY MIDI controllers, there's a lot of other things that can be used. Simple stuff like knobs and faders, but also some weird things like infrared sensors, maybe even humidity sensors. I mean, when it comes to building your own MIDI controllers, you can use a lot of different components and you can use some weird stuff that's not typically used for music creation and make some really wild concepts with it. This didn't require any special tools either. I used a battery drill, a stepper bit, some hot glue, and uh, 
a laser printer to print a vinyl decal. The aluminum enclosure was pre-powder coated and um, the design is just stuck on with a decal. There are LEDs in here as well, but overall it was an easy build. I'm not great at coding either. I've been learning about the Arduino software. Don't think that you have to be some sort of genius level programmer or really great with microcontrollers. This is my second ever Arduino project and I'm learning things quickly, but I don't know really anything about C++. I know a little more now, but um, I'm not good at coding. I'm not a professional coder. Uh, I'm good enough with using computers and learning things, but I think if you're watching my videos, you're probably pretty smart, so you can do it. So I encourage you to think about it and think about what you might want to make and what you would like your amps to do. It's perfect for use with amp sims, though you could build a MIDI pedal that worked with uh, your Kemper or Axe FX too if you wanted. I don't own those, so I can't tell you exactly about how to do that, but I'm sure it would be possible. I already built a piano pedal system, so I could hook up multiple pianos to my Korg D1 here, which doesn't support it otherwise, and uh, I do have some videos on that if you want to see that project. But you can do any number of things, and you can do so many things. <laughs> I'm really excited about the possibilities of MIDI, and I think I'd like to see more guitarists getting into building their own pedals and figuring out what we can do because there's endless possibilities for what kind of controllers we could make and how we could use them. I'm a big fan of amp sims and digital guitar technology. I'm not a valve only purist. I think part of the future of guitar playing will be the ability to use new technology and we're no longer going to be limited to just what we could do with a tube amp and analog pedals. Great as that gear is, uh, it's not the only thing we can do. And we need to start thinking a little more outside the box in terms of what we can actually get our amplifiers to do now, because digital amps don't just have to be a faithful recreation of tube amps and analog pedals. There's a lot more that could be done, and MIDI controllers will undoubtedly serve a role in that. So be a part of the future of guitar here. Let's try to think of what we can do. Arduinos are super powerful and they're cheap, and so beyond guitar too you can build all sorts of cool synthesizer instruments i think there's a ton of creative potential and possibly the next great guitar ideas can come from what we're able to do now with computers and microcontrollers so get to it and think of some good ideas and in my next video i will show you how i built this one which is really a fairly simple project but the software side of it is cool as always thanks for watching like and subscribe See you in the next one.